What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be doing the unthinkable. We are going to be taking the worst car in the game and turning it into one of the best cars in the game. So this is a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. It's only $18,000. It's the cheapest car in the game. The one that's on the far left here in the showroom. Like there is nothing worse than this. It's a level 100 stock and uh, we are going to be purchasing this bad boy. We are going to be turning it into a uh, a bit of a monster man so we're gonna go ahead and hop into this thing i'm nervous as to how slow this is gonna be that's just painful dude we had like a seven second zero to sixty and now where do you guys think we're gonna top out at we're starting to get close to the red line going uphill we can't cross 80 88 miles an hour there Hold on, let's let's see if we bring her around this way. We might be able to go go downhill a little bit. Oh yeah, approaching that red line. It's gonna be like 96 or 97. Might be able to hit 100 miles an hour if we're going downhill, but that's about as much as this thing is gonna be able to do as we run right into that truck there. But anyway, we are gonna take this thing back to the garage. We are gonna engine swap. We are gonna upgrade every part we can. We are gonna turn this into the best vehicle possible. Oh, somebody's been earning bank. Sweet ride. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I always thought his reactions were based off of the car he brought in here because as soon as we started bringing in like supercars and stuff, he was reacting to them. But no, I guess it's just kind of a, g a generic thing. Every time you have a new car, he reacts to it. Sweet ride, he says. Honestly, this is kind of cool. Like I would whip one of these as like a, a fun little get around town car. It's just classic. 63, if this thing was still running and looked this nice, that'd be a, a solid vehicle. But anyway, we are gonna come in here and we are gonna swap the engine. So I want the thing that has the max potential. So we're gonna look over here to the right. Looks like we could put a 362 horsepower, two and a half liter flat four in there. And the max potential is a 698. 660 for this hybrid engine. 645 for this thing. Okay. So it is gonna be the one all the way towards the end. 362 horsepower, flat four going in this bad boy. Actually, hold on, let me let me hear the engine rough. That actually sounds pretty good. Let me hear this one, the hybrid. Ooh. I mean, I like all of them. I guess we're gonna go with the one that has the most um, the the most potential. I kind of like the other two for sound a little bit better, but we can customize this to see exactly what we want. So we are gonna come in here, and like I said, we are gonna fully max this thing out. So we started at level 100. Remember that. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys at the end and see where we're at. Oh boys, we did it. We brought her up to a level 400 plus. I didn't even think that was gonna be an option. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get that high. I think our um, our clutch is what really did it. So you guys could see it brought our, our high speed up from an 8.3 to a 9.3. That is absolutely insane. So this thing is, it's, it's gonna be a monster. Now let's take a look at customization and see what we got going on. I'm gonna see some, some community designs here, see if there's anything interesting. I mean, this isn't bad, kind of like an old school racer type vibe. What in the world is that? The, the Smurf bug? I don't, I don't know if I like that, if I'm being honest. This is pretty mean. I actually really, uh, I like that quite a lot. It's got kind of like an old school nostalgic sidelines and, and racing stripes and stuff. We've got the, uh, the A10 Warthog look here, which is, uh, is pretty dope. That is sick. Super old school there. Of course, we've got kind of like a, a yellow cab, but it's more of like a racing type car. Do we actually, like people have put time into this thing. We've got the traditional flames here. People have really put time into this thing. I'm surprised. This is, uh, this is pretty sick. What is this, carbon fiber? No, this is just black. What do you guys think? I mean, we have a lot of cool options here. What in the world is this? Oh my goodness. Or we've got, ah, oh, this is pretty sick. Dude, I actually, I like that a lot. I don't know if I want to go for a racing vibe, though. Like, I mean, the racing vibe is pretty cool, but I kind of want to see it be a, a little a little more street inspired. I feel like this is a really nice color right here. I like this a lot. And we've got the stripes on there, but there's not too much going on. You can kind of appreciate what this thing is for what it is. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I'm going to go for this. 
looks good to me. I mean, there's so many good options in there. You could take this thing a, a multitude of different ways. The thing is, is there's quite a bit of customization in the bodywork on this thing and the, the kits and stuff like that. So I kind of want that to be the highlight. I feel like if we go too crazy on the wrap, then it's not gonna look good. So uh, let's come in here and see, let's see what we're working with. Gonna look at our front bumper so we can delete the bar there or we can add that giant thing on. I feel like it's a little too early for that. So let me see what else we have going on. We've got some splitters. <laughs> Bro, I, I I just need a general direction. What in the world? We could straight delete the front fenders. We can make it into like a, a beach buggy or we can wide body it or we can go <laughs> Bro, I'm doing it. Absolutely. That looks amazing. What is that? Oh my goodness. All right, hood. What do we want to go with here? I'm going to go with the vented hood. I feel like that looks pretty nice. All right, so now we have the wide fenders. I'm thinking... Let me... Let me see. If we make this thing big and chunky, is that going to look good? Let me see if we add the splitter here. Um... Let me see if we go to this. There's a lot of different options we could work with here and I'm just not really sure what I want. I feel, I feel like that's pretty dope. I'm gonna go with that. All right, kind of an odd look, but I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. Looks good to me. We definitely need some new, um, some new, what's it called? I'm gonna go with this. Some new rims. The, the rims are, are absolutely hideous here. So we're gonna make sure we fix that up. I'm gonna go with, ooh, what do you guys think? I mean, that's gonna be pretty aggressive if we go like that. That keeps it a little bit more tame, but I guess let's go aggressive. We're gonna go with the crazy alchemist kit here. Tail lights, got a lot of options here. I'm gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna say the, I like these. Yeah, we're gonna take this thing into the future, bro. We need thicker tires. That is the ugliest. That's like when you skip leg day right there, dude. That is absolutely brutal, I hate it. Okay, we've got a couple of different options here. For rear bumpers, can we change the diffuser? Bro, what in the world? I don't... Can we change the trunk lid? What? Are you kidding me right now? Absolutely we are going to be going with that. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't really love what I was looking at. Now for a rear bumper, should we... I'm, I'm going to say let's delete it. That thing is so crazy, it's worth, worth just keeping by itself. Rear diffuser, should we add anything here? I mean... That's not bad, but I feel like it just doesn't really fit. I'm gonna change up the exhaust. Ooh, we've got some interesting options. I like that. That's also kind of interesting, but I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna keep it, keep it relatively, relatively clean there. Dude, this is ridiculous. It says we can change the license plate, but there's really no reason to change the license plate. There's no license plate there. Do we want anything on top of what we're already working with? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty sick as is. I kind of feel like we should add something. There we go, whatever, AR performance spoiler. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen, but I love every minute of it. Let's add some mirrors on the sides. I guess we can go with the ch Chidori's right there. Looks good to me. And uh, I think, uh, I think we're looking pretty good. You know what? Let's just let's let's add a, a little spoiler on the front as well. I guess it'd be called a a, a splitter, but uh, it's literally it looks like a spoiler on top of our splitter, which is absolutely ridiculous. Dude, we are just we're going all out with this thing. All right, here we go. Rear wheels. We are going to be changing up these rims for show. Definitely need something new here. Definitely need something wider and a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure what vibe I'm going for, but uh, we're gonna find something. I think I'm gonna go with something simple and clean. Probably something like this, rim number 86. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and then can we can we make these boys a little bit large? <laughs> Probably not too large. Um, I'm thinking midsize. I mean the the let me, hold on. Let me let me see these from a distance. I feel like that's gonna look really really stupid. That looks. <laughs> That looks pretty stupid. Yeah, I think we need to we need to drop it like two sizes. I think right here is is gonna look nice because you want the the slightly chunkier tires, just because that's kind of this thing is big and chunky. You know what I mean? So I, I think I think that's what we're gonna rock with. We threw some red Brembos on there, and uh, man, oh man, does this thing look? Uh, uh, looks pretty good. I'm I'm really loving this thing. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of it. So uh, here we go. We're going to take a look at some effects. Nitrous color. Of course, we're going to go with the blue color. I actually really like the, the blue and purple slightly color change look here. 
I feel like it looks pretty solid. I guess we could go with some blue underglow, or we could, I mean, we could switch it up with like a purple, but I feel like a blue is probably gonna look the best. So I'm gonna go with the blue underglow there. Should we, uh, should we bag it? I'm down to bag it. Looks good to me. And now we gotta slam it in the stance, baby. Just gonna slam this thing down like that. I don't think we're gonna add any camber or anything. I feel like it looks pretty good as is. And now for our exhaust sounds. I feel like that's the sweet spot, baby. All right, there she is. I, I just honestly don't know what to say. This is uh, one of our more unique builds. It's um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think this is something that only a mother could love, but this is like the ultimate definition of don't judge a book by its cover. Cause this thing looks like trash. It literally looks like a dumpster, but it will blow your doors off. For the record, this thing has 676 horsepower, dude. Oh my, this is the craziest bug ever made. This is so fast. Are you kidding me right now? And it's honestly a little, it's a little hard to control. We're going to be very careful about it. Why is it so small? Are we in a weird camera angle or? Yeah, we were in a weird camera angle. Hold on a second. Let me, let me get in our normal camera angle. I was going to say, is it so, is it small? Cause it's so fast. Well, it's still, it kind of pulls away from the camera quite a bit. This thing is, is odd, dude. This is, this is very weird. I don't know if I'm comfortable with what we just made. This is an abomination, but uh, I'm excited to race and excited to see what happens. <laughs> we are doing 205 miles an hour in a slug bug. A 1960 slug bug. This is against the law. All right. Anyway, let's, um, I mean, let's, let's start off with this. We're close to it. It's a little time trial. It'll allow us to learn the car a little bit. Let's go for it. Now, I will say, handling-wise, this is probably the best car that we've ever made. I mean, it, obviously, that's a side effect of, of how small it is and putting all this power in such a tiny package. That's what the girls usually tell me. But, um, like, this thing, it just, it, it turns and stops on a dime. It's honestly a, a little intimidating. Like, it's, I'm used to the cars in this game. Like, you really have to have to yank on the wheel to turn them, you know what I mean? Like, you, you really, you really gotta commit to it and they, you have a little bit of pushback on it. Because they want to keep going in a straight line, but this thing just wants to stop. Look at this, dude. Like, this is amazing. Now, in a straight line, it's not very good because you can't exactly make those tiny corrections, like to change a lane at high speeds to avoid a car or something like that. It kind of wants to, to veer off the road. But this was literally the perfect race because we're making all these little 90 degree corners and it's just, dude, normally with a car I would have to predict the corner way earlier and start like braking and hand braking and stuff. But this thing, it just, it turns on a dime every time. Look at this. I'm not even hitting the brake there. This is ridiculous. Come around this way. No need for a brake. It just turns and it just keeps turning. This would have been a great, uh, this would have been a great, a great drift vehicle. That's for sure. Wait for the very last minute to break there. Yeah, this thing is, this thing is pretty nutty. If you've got any sort of cornering, this is absolutely the car to do it with. You can accelerate all the way to pretty much the apex of the corner and then hit the brake of the e-brake and it still makes a 90 degree turn. That is outrageous, dude. This thing is, is pretty nutty, I can't lie. Beautiful. So looks like we're about 90, 91% done with this. It was a uh, little two lap race. Pretty sure we shredded his time. There it is. What a little monster, dude. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I'm gonna take this thing to a drift event. There's a pretty high level drift event right next to us right here, so it's easy to get to. Let's try this out. So I have literally all track parts on this car. You guys know sometimes I'll add in a couple of showcase parts for some of our other cars because it, it allows them to get sideways in the corners a bit easier. I put all track parts on this thing. I was trying to make it as fast as possible just for the memes, just for the, the sake of this video. But it still turns and slides so well. This may in fact be the best car we've ever made in this game. Like I, I'm, I'm not joking. Like it's it seriously, the, the handling is, is second to none. We kind of got to get used to it a little bit. I don't expect it to dominate this drift event. 
This is actually a pretty tough drift event too, but I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. It's just crazy that you have this much control over it, even with the track parts on. See, we're getting sideways. We are getting sideways enough to really start racking up the points, but we are getting a little sideways. I also have a 15 pound nitrous tank on this thing. I forgot to tell you guys that I did that. So I'm excited to use that, but we kind of need a, uh, a bit bigger of a straight to be able to make that happen because that's gonna that's a lot to commit to 15 pounds of nitrous is, is pretty ridiculous dude we didn't even break there i lifted off the gas a little bit bro this thing is nuts this was a really a very good drift track i don't to be honest i don't really like this one we've got a little bit too much grip around some of these corners to get it sideways but um man this thing is is impressive yeah dude we're we're at 120k, or we're at we're at 27k out of 120k ideal. I mean, the the control is there. We just don't really have. We we can't get as sideways as we want to. It's a little bit too grippy. It comes out of these turns and instantly starts going straight. So that's what I figured. But from like a, a control around corners and stuff standpoint, this thing is second to none. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's let's quit this event. Let's um. Let's go find ourselves a real race. I'm just so impressed with this little guy, man. Like, I, I thought this was gonna be a funny episode. I thought we were just gonna, you know, kinda mess around, make something ridiculously fast, and then never even think about it again. But like, if we ever go do some online racing or something, this thing is absolutely gonna be in our, uh, in our stable. This thing is a beast. So we're gonna really test its, um, test its prowess here at night. I've got a level 400 race, lightning. Let's see what this thing's made of. <laughs> Bro, imagine a bug pulls up next to you sounding like that and looking like that. Spitting flames, blue neons, Ferraris, four GTs, McLarens and Lambos. No match for a Volkswagen Beetle. Here we go, fellas. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this thing is not, it's not gonna be fun on these these subtle curves. Shoot, we gotta be careful here. Whew. You just kinda, you can't accelerate while while making little adjustments. If you lift off the gas, it, it works a little bit better, but then you kinda start to enter a slide when you go back on the gas. So we're just gonna have to be, we're gonna have to be very careful here. Corners like that, where you have a little bit more room to move and you can enter a slide are good. Uh-oh, 15 pound tank and nos. Quick pull, no big deal. Bro, this thing is terrifying. I can't control it. I can't control it. I can't control it. This thing, it's it's so sketchy. It's got such a, like, it's so touchy. You barely touch the wheel and instantly it just reacts and goes off the road. Just immediately. Like, I'm trying to make these little adjustments to, to dodge cars or, like, move into the next lane over. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's, let's take out the billboard in the middle of the race. No big deal. We're still in second place out of eight. Can we pull our nitrous here? No, we can't. We're gonna have some, some corners coming up. Um, shoot, we're okay. Yeah, dude, like I, I really wanna love this thing, but it's it's it makes it kinda hard because it's so freaking touchy. It's so fast that we're keeping up with these guys even though we can't hold a good line, but it is so touchy. See what I mean? We can't. I was gonna go a slight left there, the car was in the way, and then so I I had to go harder left, and then we go into the fence, and then we turn, and it's just, dude, it's rough. It's very rough, but we're, we're doing okay so far. This is a level four out of race, so it should be challenging. Can we hit our nitrous here? No, probably, probably after the next hard left. But yeah, dude, this, this thing is, it's exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. Like with a lot of, a lot of power comes responsibility. You got to be very careful with this thing. Here we go. 15 pounds of nitrous. <laughs> what? Can't even see what's in front of us. There we go. That was actually pretty, pretty good there. Okay. <sighs> this is the most stressful car that we've driven. Without a doubt, dude. Like this thing is just absolutely terrifying around every corner. Got a little level 280. Or this is a level 300. We're right next to the 300. Let's go run that. Though I think if we just dominated the level 400 like that, I think the 300 is going to get dominated as well. Honestly, I'm just interested in getting the cops on us and then trying to evade, seeing if we can if we can lose them. 
I've got a feeling if we got in the city streets and we were hitting 90 degree corners really quickly, we might be able to, to, to lose them. But um, only time's gonna tell. Speaking of city streets, I mean, those, those would be great races. The ones that have all the 90 degree angles and stuff, but these where you have these sweeping corners where you have to be very light and react quickly to cars and oncoming traffic, it's just, it, it's not, it's not built for that. Here we go. So this is going to be a sprint race. We do have a cop in the back taking up the caboose. But we're okay so far. We've got a couple of long straights. Oh, we're going to be going into the city. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm excited for this. Oh my. See what I mean, dude? Like, the, I, it's honestly making, making me a little bit mad. I, I just, like, I should be able to make that corner without sliding into that, that oncoming traffic. It's frustrating. But then look at how fast we are compared to these guys. I just can't. I just can't. I can't turn. It gets loose immediately. We gotta be so careful, dude. Is this a stray? Oh my goodness, here we go. Please don't have any cars in our lane. 236 miles an hour in the Beetle, dude. See ya. Get a little bit of air here. No big deal. Wow. Now, see, corners like this, it can handle. Look at this. Beautiful. Easy peasy. Love it. It's the little corrections that absolutely annihilate this thing. I don't know what else we can do. We, we've got track everything on this. Like the, I guess... Maybe we want to take track stuff off so it's less grippy, and that way the, the minor corrections won't, won't be as insane. I don't know. That's something we may have to, to examine in future episodes if we ever take this thing online, but uh, wow. I am, uh, I am just flat out impressed overall. It's got its drawbacks, but I'm impressed. I'm looking for that next spot we can hit our nitrous. The 15 pounds of nitrous is my favorite thing by far. It, uh, I don't know. The five three pounds is nice, but the 15 pounds is exciting. We haven't used it up until this point. This is our first, our first attempt with it. So let's, let's use it again. Why not? Woo! Oh my goodness. Trev! Gotta be careful here. We're on critical damage. <laughs> We've got two long straights here. Dude, if we run into something and end up losing this, it, there's a very high chance of that happening, if you want me to be completely honest. I'm just gonna try to, oh shoot, there was a gas station right there and we went right by it. I'm just gonna try to be smart here. We have such a lead, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna try to be smart. We got it, and there's a gas station right here. Oh my gosh, this thing is nerve-wracking, dude. Got a copper on us. I'm gonna let him catch up. Let's see what you got, bro. You ready for this? You ready for this bug? You ever chased a slug bug before? I've got a feeling you're not ready. Let's go, baby. Oh, shoot. He hit us and killed our nitrous. And we're instantly out of there, dude. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. All right, I think we're gonna call it a night on that. Honestly, this thing scares me. It, it scares me a lot. That's enough for one night. It, it's extremely fast. It's good around corners, like real corners, but trying to do any other sort of normal driving, it just does not like. So we'll take it, 165K rep night, not bad. Um, up to, to 10 million reputation. That's pretty solid. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Let me know which car you guys want to see next. Hopefully something a little bit less intimidating. This thing is insane.